master stroke education biology classes today we are going to talk uh, talk about the biochemical bond why we need to learn about the biochemical bonds friends this is the basic biological uh, concept we must need to understand uh, for future understanding the complex biological systems so here you, we can see that that what is the biology we normally think that the biology is the study it is actually the subject where we study about the uh, living organism but from the technical view it is nothing but the application of physics chemistry and mathematics that is all about the biology because if you want to study the physics you do not need to understand too much biology for its application the same concept is um, stable for the mathematics as well as the chemistry but to understand the biology it is very important to understand the physics chemistry and mathematics for an example you are learning the concept about body posture maintenance or blood pressure or any of uh, the physical factor of the body or any living organism you must understand the physics and their law such as law of gravity uh, uh, pressure law these are the important thing mathematics why mathematics because to understand the blood pressure sugar level rbc count whatever the parameter you need to undertake uh, to emphasize your concept you must understand at least basic mathematical principle rules and application why chemistry this is our topic today the chemistry just like the mathematics and the physics it is a directly related to the biology so we decided to take our topic based on the chemistry we called biochemical bonds um it is simply considered as you can see that bond chemical or bond or biochemical bonds in biology the interaction between the molecules in the biology are mainly divided into two major steps or section one is covalent bond another is the non covalent interaction what happened the majority of us are gaining a false concept that is there are two type of bond covalent bond and non covalent bond but friends it is a huge misconcept that bond is only and only one type that is called the covalent bond there are no, nothing in there about the non covalent bond only there are some kind of non covalent interaction so that the non covalent interaction cannot be i repeat cannot be considered as a non covalent bond in bio molecule or in a biochemistry or in a biochemical bond there are no place for the term we call the non covalent bond there are only term for the non covalent interaction so the coordination and the cooperation between the molecule are based on the two chemical principle when it is related to the biology we call this biochemical principle one is the covalent bond another is the non covalent interaction under the covalent bond we can see the single bond double bond and triple bond and under the non covalent interaction we can see there are major however there are so many types but there are major four types ionic interaction hydrogen interaction hydrophobic interaction and van der waals forces now here we can see that i do not consider it as a ionic bond or hydrogen bond i consider it as a ionic interaction or hydrogen interaction because these are not bonds these are the interaction so that part by part we will discuss 
about covalent bond and non-covalent interaction and their types. The covalent bond is based on the principle of the electron sharing where the two molecules share its electron to make a cooperative interaction between them. So it is very easy to understand the covalent bond either it is a single bond, double bond or triple bond it is actually responsible for the sharing of electron. For an example we are taking hydrogen atom okay hydrogen molecule. The hydrogen uh, H is atomic number one so it has a proton one and electron this is the hydrogen another hydrogen here hydrogen one proton and one electron now from the basic chemistry we already know that the first orbit to saturate demand two electron here in each case we can see that the hydrogen having a single electron in its first orbit however hydrogen do not have a more than one orbit but one orbit need to saturate with the two electron but each hydrogen atom having single electron in its orbit so it's demand for another electron so here the electron sharing will be take place both are sharing this electron what happened actually this is a 2d structure uh, actually this uh, in paper it is a 2d structure but re in reality it is a three dimensional structure what happened in a three dimensional structure when this electron rotate around the proton of this hydrogen atom sometimes it's rotate around these also and when this electron rotate around this proton it also rotate around this hydrogen atom so in a very fast motion the two hydrogen in each case feel that they have the two electron so it is considered as the H2 so now the bond is like H bond H it is a single bond so now you can understand that the electron sharing take place how many electron are, how many is sharing electron are happening just one electron sharing happening here just one electron and it is known as the single bond or covalent bond or simply called single covalent bond now this is a single bond now we are talking about the double bond we are actually discussing about the covalent bond and its subtypes the first type is a single bond now we are talking about the double bond what happened in the double bond think about now we are taking oxygen as our model oxygen has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 who has atomic number 8 so first orbit consisting two electron the first orbit saturated and the second orbit consisting six electron one two three four five six this is an oxygen atom another oxygen atom one two three four five six seven eight first orbit saturated with two electron and the second orbit having one two three four five six electron this is another oxygen now what happened as the rule of the electron saturation of the orbit we know that in the first case or in every case the first orbit are saturated with the two electron where the from second orbit is saturated with the eight electron now in both cases we can understand that the first orbit is saturated in both cases with two electron fine no problem but in both cases 
the second orbit having six electron but it's required more to so it's completed eight and to become uh, saturated its orbit now what happened the same theory as i discussed previously happened there are two electron became sharing with each other the two electron will become share with each other so this is the number one sharing this is the number two sharing okay now how many electrons sharing are happening here two electron sharing so o double bond o or we simply write it as a o2 so this is we called about the double bond double bond this is also called we call double covalent bond now we are talking about the triple bond In this case, we take nitrogen as our model. Nitrogen atomic number seven. So this is the first orbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First orbit saturated with the two electron. Electron number and proton number are same. In normal cases, so here we can see that one, two, three, four, five. These are the two electrons of the first orbit. One, two, three, four, five. Both are nitrogen. The same scenario is happening here also. The first orbit is saturated with the two electron in both cases, but the second orbit in each case having the five electron. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they must need eight electron to become saturated. Now the electron sharing must be take place. Now here, the each required more three electron to be saturated. So here, three electron became sharing with each other. So this is the number one electron sharing, number two and number three electron sharing. Now we can see that as there are three electrons sharing, so nitrogen, triple bond, nitrogen. So this is the very good example of the triple bond. So this is all about the covalent bond. The covalent bond are actually three types, single bond, double bond or triple bond or elaborately known as single covalent bond, double covalent bond or triple covalent bond. The main base for the covalent bond is actually electron sharing. How many number of electron sharing taking place between the atoms actually decided what type of covalent bond it is. Such as if a single electron has been sharing by the two atoms, it has been known as a single bond or single covalent bond. If two electron sharing are taking place between the atom, then it will be known as the double covalent bond or double bond. If three electron sharing will be taking place between the atoms it will be known as the triple bond or triple covalent bond but in each cases electron sharing is a very important aspect